Okay, I'm quickly going to go over split screen mode for students to help them know what to do if they wanted to be using split screen during this hybrid learning process on their iPad. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to launch a Zoom meeting. The students would obviously be joining a Zoom meeting, but in this case, I'm going to launch one. So I'm going to just start one with my personal meeting ID. I'm actually going to join it as well on another device. Um, that way you can kind of see what it would look like if one was the teacher and one was the student. And so I'm going to hop on on my cell phone as well into a meeting on my personal meeting ID. So I'll be in it on both meetings. So if I was a student, let's say, and my teacher was um, talking through some content, okay? Um, so here I am there. And I want to switch myself to grid view, sure. So if I was a student, I'd be seeing the teacher in one view and myself in the other. If I wanted to listen and see my teacher while they're going through some material, maybe they're sharing their screen and I'm seeing it anyway, or maybe they're not. And I just want to be able to just access the material they're referencing. I pull up my little toolbar from the bottom, okay? I slowly drag my finger um, off the black space up onto the screen slowly and I get this little toolbar. So if I want to go over a document in Google Classroom, I hold down on the Classroom app, and then I drag it all the way to the right until my window bumps in, still holding my finger down, and I now have split screen mode. I can still see my teacher, other people in the class, and then I can access Google Classroom. So in this case, I'm in Ms. Glidden's class, I'm looking at her classwork page, and she's going to go over the bell schedule. So I'm going to follow along with her as she does that. If it wasn't Google Classroom that I wanted to be in, but maybe Notability and I want to take notes as the teacher speaks, same thing as long as it's recently been opened, I could grab it from there. I'll hold down on the Notability app, pull it all the way over to the side, and then I can take notes as my teacher talks. Okay, I can still make edits. Um, if that's what I want to do, I can change my paper, give myself um, some all kinds of different options over here and play with Notability. If I don't wanna be in Notability, but maybe an app that isn't on this toolbar, so let's say I wanna find a different one like Kahoot, okay? Um, I just go to the screen and tap Kahoot and do it the reverse way. Pull slowly up and grab Zoom from one of my three most recent apps, and now it's there. And so when I hit home and I you know, lose Zoom for a second, I can still hear everything that's going on. I just can't see the teacher for a moment. And I'm still seeing both windows. So the teacher could be you know, the bottom window me and then the top window is me on the iPad. So I could go through and do this Zoom, I'm sorry, and do this Kahoot and have kind of what I need there. So that's it.